Hey, this is Ronald Carroll from MidAmericanDreamers.org and .com. And today we're going to continue our lessons on how to become a graphic designer for free using GIMP. We're going to take this lesson, which was done in Photoshop, we're going to convert that to GIMP. So I provided a background, a picture of a watch, and the picture of the woman. And we're going to get started and do this in 10 minutes. Let's begin by bringing in the background image and drop it right in the middle. We're going to make sure we always convert the standard RGB to GIMP. Now we're going to create, which I always do, a standard duplicate of the background in case I have to go back and start over. So now we're going to bring in the picture of the watch and we're going to drop it right here in the layers menu because now it just becomes a layer. We're going to convert that again and we're going to bring it move it up to the top and now we have to scale that so we'll click in the middle here and go up to scale or press shift plus s as in sam hold shift and grab a corner and then grab the middle here and move it over to the left and you want to hold shift as you drag this picture out make it bigger or larger that way you maintain the ratio of the picture now you have to hit scale or enter for this to complete. Now we're going to turn the opacity down a little bit. Now this could be a picture of people in a restaurant eating and then you put other pictures on top of that like hamburgers or pizza. So this can be any ad that you want to create. Let's drag in the woman here and we're going to bring her up to the top as well and we have to of course scale her again and since scale is already selected we don't have to reselect that. Now hold shift and drag. Let's move her over. Grab the middle yellow box here and let's scale her up be careful when it comes to graphic or visual design not to leave too many empty spaces and get that where you want it now you can use my pictures or choose your own images it doesn't matter and create any kind of ad you want a lot of times I take lessons when I do take them when I did take them in the past I would create my own thing so I'm going to remove the background here so I can get easier access to any pictures I want to move. So that's just accomplished by clicking on the eyeball there. And now we're going to duplicate the watch. So I have two of them. And to move an image, I just press M, or as in Mary, on the keyboard. Let's increase the opacity of the second watch. And now I want to rescale this and make it smaller. And I'm going to duplicate this because I want to have like a reflection on the bottom of the same watch. Let's make that smaller, move it around, bring back the background here. And once I get that the size I want, I create another duplicate of that size watch. And now I should have two. And I want to drag it down. And normally I would flip this, so I'll go to image, transform, and flip vertically. But because you know the pictures look kind of alike, I'm not going to do that. Now let's create a new layer by pressing Control or Command N as in Nancy. We'll go to File and New. And we're going to have a shadow underneath the first watch. So let's go to Ellipse 2, the Ellipse 2, or press B. And just, just left click and drag across to create that shadow shape we want. And now we have to fill that in. Oh, let's straighten this out. Okay. We have to fill that in with black. So let's go over here to our colors and make sure we have black on top as the foreground go up here to our bucket fill tool or we'll press shift plus b as in boy and left click inside our circle now go to filters blur and gaussian blur and then we can just adjust the sliders here to where you want them again i'm not doing this perfectly it's showing you how easy this really is to do and you can become really good at this click ok now let's decrease the opacity of the watch on the bottom so it looks more like a reflection. And we can do more with this in terms of filters. Now let's go ahead and select none. So go up to select and go down to none. Or control plus command plus shift plus A as an apple. Let's go over to our text tool. We can also just press T as in Tom. We're going to change the text here to Adobe Arabic Bold and 600 seem to work here okay so i want to select that because i want to type the name correctly let's go ahead and move our box up so we know 
more of what we're doing. Let's select that. Let's make it bold and change the font size to 600. And I'm going to play with this for a second here. So I want you to see step by step what I'm doing. Now if I want to move this around, I would just press M on the keyboard, as in Mary, or go up to the Move tool and move it around. Make sure you have what you want to move selected over in the Layers menu though. Because sometimes you can find yourself doing something and then you're moving the wrong layer. So now we're going to bring in the second text, which will be our tagline. And we're going to change that. We're going to add Smart to or something like that. So let's type that in right now. And I want to change the color. I want to pick a lighter color from the bottom left side of the picture or of the ad. So once I have that, I'm going to select that. and go up here to my color picker tool or press O and left click down here what I want to change this to and I'll go up here to my foreground color and I'll move this up to a lighter color and just move it up and now once I have a color I'm gonna hit control or command C as in cat to copy it and then I'm gonna go over here and hit control or command V as in victory to paste it but the color I use is down there. And we're going to add Smart here. Let's move this around to get it pretty much there. I could use the Guides again, go up to Image and go down to Guides. So if you do it for a client, make sure everything lines up perfectly. And I can change this Gaussian Blur and do some more with that as well. Let's go ahead and move her over though because we talked about waste of space. So I want to move her more to the middle. And I can also this way see the background. So if I press Shift plus Command and Control plus J as in Jack, I can go ahead and bring the whole picture into view. And now I'm going to go over to Colors and Curves. I'm going to bring out the dark on the right side and lighten up the left side a little bit. Because if the right side's darker, that watch is going to pop off the page a little bit better, like that. And again, I'm not trying to be perfect here. Now we're going to go to export this so I can hit Control Shift Command E as a network and I can save it as anything I want. PNG, uh, JPEG, um, some printers will want this in a form of a PDF so you can do that. I can save it also as a, as a Photoshop image so I can save it anywhere I want or I can just type up there what I want. Let's go ahead and save this and click export. So we're going to export this. We can't save it, we export it. We save the project, but we export the file. So once that's done, now we're pretty much good to go. And I think it's a little bit light, but I would do a color correction on this. But as you can see, this wasn't really difficult to do. And you can do it with hamburgers or, you know, clothing stores, really whatever you want. So car washes, it doesn't matter. Just come up with a decent concept. If you don't have one, just go on Google and type in images for those types of ads and get some ideas. And then still a piece here, a piece there, and kind of put something together. And before you know it, you become good at this. So have fun. And the key thing is you need to do it. Uh, start playing around with it. I'm going to create some more ads uh, for different things. I'm going to create some uh, posters you can sell online. And a lot of different, create a lot of different avenues in which you can make money. Find out more at midamericandreamers.org.